So hey, what's up guys? It's B-Dog. Today I'm coming at you with the movies of my month for June. Okay, so the first one I got up is a series. It's the Harry Potter series. <laughs> To have this water bottle I don't have it anymore put it in the dishwasher and invent it and so I'm really sad about that but this water bottle had a picture of a mochi unicorn on it and it said I am magical it was 86 cents from Walmart that's how magical these movies are it's just fantastic I'm gonna start off and tell you how I rank these movies so first you got up six then you got eight then you got four Five, three, seven, two, one. Six is the best one because it's actually a very dark drama. It's very intense. You really feel what's going on and what Harry's going through as well as his friends. But at the same time, everyone in this universe does exactly what you think they do when the people that they care about are going through something really intense and serious is they make them laugh. They do all these kind of goofballish things and it just it really blends nicely together with all this dark drama and the relationships particularly between Rupert Gint's character Ronald Weasley and Emma Watson's character Hermione Granger how they bounce back and forth throughout the movie and they really develop their relationship like the entire movie they they start friends and then not really and then they're friends again and actually they're a little bit more than friends by the end and that that's the beauty of it how much stuff actually happens in this movie in their relationship and in the story part of the comedy is also mixed in with that and that's why it's so fantastic the reason why eight is number two is because it's the conclusion of this absolutely massive story that spanned over 10 years massive scale conclusion and it was a very well done conclusion as well that just closed up the universe and made you feel satisfied with what just happened you spend countless hours watching these movies reading these books really getting into it and they just they wrap it up in a nice bow and give you the experience that you wanted to close it and you're just like four is number three because it was the first movie where i really went this is awesome the other movies they were pretty cool uh prisoner of azkaban really stepped it up from the first two because the first two are just not on the same level but it, people say that prisoner of azkaban kicked it off but in reality it was the goblet of fire really stepped up that level because it really started to dig into the deeper emotions of what is happening more so than the other ones because there was some stuff in the first three but not as much and it wasn't as well done i really like these movies you definitely should check them out please do so my first one off this is a very fun movie it doesn't have a lot of plot it's interesting to me though because it does have a lot of history in it like american history in it and that is National Treasure. I thought Nicolas Cage gave a good performance in this movie. He played a good character that fit the bill. Fun, interesting, cool. Diane Kruger bounced off him well. They created a great romantic style relationship. It was good. And then Justin Bartha as Nicolas Cage's friend Riley, who kind of was basically just his partner in crime, actually literally his partner in crime, that helped him with everything and get through stuff. Also some underrated performances, Sean Bean and John Voight. Sean Bean played the villain, and then John Voight played Nicolas Cage's dad, and they both had good performances. This was a fun movie. I'm not going to talk much about this next one. Because I covered in review, Upgrade. I thought Upgrade was fine. There were some really fun parts. There were some really cool parts. It was actually a very dark and gritty movie. It had an interesting premise, but I thought they kind of botched the story towards the end. And you kind of just lost care for the story and what was going on. And you were kind of too confused to get what they were going for. But the guy who played the main character, who I thought was... Tom Hardy for the longest time, but I can't remember his name. Just go check out my review for that. I thought he gave a great performance. Visually, this is a very good-looking movie. 
for that, you can appreciate this movie. The characters, for the most part, were pretty cool, but that's it. That's all I'm going to say because I did a review for it. Hereditary. <laughs> I'm planning on doing a live stream where I talk about with two of my friends what this movie is about. So this movie really threw me for a loop. And my opinion hasn't really changed. I've looked stuff up. I almost can appreciate more what they were trying to do. But I thought they didn't execute the tone of the movie that they were going for too well. At times it felt way too over the top. Now people say it's a horror movie. It's supposed to be over the top. But you, when you start comparing it to The Exorcist, it's not just a horror movie anymore. These people are making a comparison, and I can't let that slide. It, it has to legitimately be there, and it's not. The reason why it's not is because it has story issues, and the tone is confusing on what it's really going for because of some of the stuff seems too over the top to go for a serious drama, something on the style of The Exorcist. And Toni Collette's performances were over the top. I didn't find her character to really be realistic. But I did a review, please go check that out. Next one up, My Cousin Vinny. This movie is absolutely hilarious. There's such a great dynamic between Joe Pesci and Marissa Tomei. It's really what makes the movie, it's very interesting, this relationship, but also really funny. Re really going into this movie, that's what you look for, and the story's pretty good. It's kind of over the top, but that's what it's supposed to be. It's kind of that kind of style of comedy. This guy's an oddball whack job in a way, and Marissa Tomei, you know, kind of keeps him grounded, but she's not completely grounded so it makes sense why they're together, and it's it's great. And just like joke after joke after joke after joke after joke just hits. This last one is probably the best movie on this list of movies, Hostels. This movie came out last year. It might technically say that there's a release date in 2018. I don't know. I saw multiple stuff, but it was end of 2017, I think. It starts Christian Bale. And this is an absolutely fantastic movie. This movie is a great character piece. It really developed Christian Bale's character fantastically. Him and also Roseman Pike's character as well. What this movie is about, if you don't know, because it's not as well known. This movie is about a man. He's a soldier in the late 1800s. And he has to take some Indians to a reservation. They're, I think they're more towards the east. And they got to take them more west. And he doesn't want to do this. He honestly, he hates Indians. And he doesn't want to have anything to do with them. But he's forced to. Because his commander feels like he's the only one he can actually trust. Um, and at first he's very skeptical of his Indians. He keeps them chained up. But their relationship starts to develop and they de kind of develop a common enemy. And he really starts to care for these people. His character development really shows it's very subtle and he stays hard pretty much throughout the movie. He makes decisions that shows that, you know, maybe what he sees now gives him a reason to not hate all Indians. The, actually, that's one of the main parts of Rosamund Pike's character is you can really understand why she hates Indians. When she's introduced to the this group of people, uh, Christian Bale's group, because there is a scene that shows some stuff that happens to her in the beginning of the movie before she meets Christian Bale's group. But when you meet Christian Bale, you completely understand how frazzled she is and why she's so frazzled. It really makes sense. It was such a great performance by her. I really like the character dives between Roseman Pike and Christian Bale. They make this movie. You really should watch this movie. It's fantastic. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Those are all the movies that I watched this month. But that's it. Please like, comment what you thought of this video. Comment what you thought of my re reviews of these movies. Technically, they're reviews. But this video in general. And then subscribe. So that's it. See you guys later. B-Dog out.